So my family is pretty much wiped out, out of money, broke, and uh, we need your help. You're probably going to hear this more often in the coming weeks and coming months as a result of the disasters and the, uh, the, the natural disasters. We have floods in St. Louis. We have floods in Las Vegas. We have flood and flooding in Eastern Kentucky. We've got, on top of that, we have the complete opposite with extreme drought conditions and utility costs, electricity bills going through the roof as folks are running their air conditioning units and jacking up their electricity bills and uh, even here in Las Cruces, New Mexico, uh, going as far as uh, stealing an air conditioning unit from a home improvement store at gunpoint uh, just to stay cool. But we're also anticipating some extreme heat or extreme heating costs as we are rolling into fall and moving towards probably one of the most difficult winters we're going to see here in a long time uh, as fuel and and fuel for heating and especially in the north northern parts of the United States and northeastern corner of the United States uh, and probably also also up in Canada because I know we have some Can Canadian viewership and at the end of the day everything's going to cost more inflation is still climbing cpi is showing that inflation rates are still up the fed jerome powell they're trying to counteract all the um stimulus money that they pumped out there you know senate minority leader mitch mcconnell he's so against the fact that so many people have all this money but i hate to break it to you i don't think people have the money i don't think they do not the majority not the 99 percent not the the, the working class poor, the middle class that b pretty much worked their butts off just enough to be broke. But with that, coupled with a major storm, a flood, a, a, a total loss situation like we're seeing here in uh, eastern Kentucky that we're possibly seeing in St. Louis and people losing their jobs, mass layoffs, hiring freezes, uh, hours being cut, uh, people being replaced by robots and technology. Uh, Michelle posted a video the other day preparing for survival she put up a video that there was a someone who posted a story that an uber an uber was ordered and the vehicle that showed up was driverless and I know we're, we're headed we're actually about to drive through Texas and Texas was running a pilot program with uh, or Sam's Club was running a pilot program in Texas where they were they were having they were using automated driverless autonomous box trucks to make deliveries so we got inflation we got a recession we got loss of jobs we have all you know uh extreme utility cost increases we have um you know we have we still have this ongoing conflict with russia and ukraine and the russia and ukraine war uh causing supply chain disruptions and just making overall life more and more difficult every single day it's like there's not even a break coming even reports coming in, granted this isn't the United States, but reports coming in of uh, United Arab Emirates in the desert having flooding. So like, what's going on? I, and I know you'll have some that are gonna call, call it climate change uh, as a, is the reason for this, whatever. Here's the thing, for those of you who are in a situation where you have money, prepare yourself. And for those of you who are in a situation where you don't have money or you feel as though you're going to need money very, very soon uh, and you're you're considering payday loan services, you're considering a cash advance service, you're considering anything out there that could help you uh, get a loan or or hold you over uh, in the time being, y'all need to y'all need to pay attention and be prepared because this is probably going to be the most important video that I post up this week and it is for you to pay attention because if you are in a position where friend or family approaches you and says hey uh, can we borrow some money you need to be prepared for that okay now on the flip side if you are someone who's anticipating going to friends or family and saying hey we need to borrow some money we're in trouble we're not prepared we got wiped out. Our home has flooded. We don't have insurance. Uh, you know, where we were staying, it was rented. It got flooded. We don't have anywhere else to go. 
um, our car was flooded. Uh, it was caught in the flood and we don't have a vehicle. We need help. We need money. Can you, can you, can you, can we borrow some money? Can you, can you lend us some money? Don't do it. Okay. If you, if you were asked to, to loan, lend money to a friend or family in need, do not do it. Okay. And if you are someone who's expecting to be in a position to ask, you need to be prepared for the answers that you're going to get. Now, there are instances where I say, give them the money. If, if a friend or a family or just even a stranger on the street comes to you and says, hey, can I borrow some money? Coworker, colleague, you know, someone jumps on Facebook and makes a post that, you know, families in, 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 in need of some assistance, hold them over until the insurance claim pays out or until they sell their house and they can get the money from closing or whatever it may be. Right now, 2022, with everything we got going on, all the all the craziness and nonsense that's going on out there that's making it tougher and tougher and harder for everybody to prepare to survive. Um, if if you find yourself in a situation where you could possibly lend money and you could possibly help a friend or a family member or anything like that who 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 really isn't prepared for SHTF that's about to hit in whatever way, shape, or form it may be, if you are someone who's in that position where you could potentially be asked who has the financial means and ability to, to lend money for a friend or a family member to borrow, I want you to understand that it is a terrible idea. It's a horrible idea, and I would never do it. Never do it. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not giving you personal advice. I'm just saying I would never do it unless I was willing to give that money away. If someone comes to me, a friend, family, who, whoever it may be, and they say, hey, I need help. Can I borrow some money? The only way I'm going to give them money is if, if I'm 100% okay with never getting that money back again. Because ultimately, you got to realize that you know we're in a downward spiral here until we hit the bottom. The Fed, Jerome Powell, they're trying to initiate some form of soft landing here with the increase of the uh, the rates just went up another 75 basis points. Inflation is high. Rates, interest rates are high. They're trying to prevent a recession. We're already in a recession. It's happening. But the only way that I could financially help a friend, a family member, anybody like that is if I was willing to give the money away and never get it back. Plain and simple. And if anybody out there has been in this situation on whichever side of the fence you were on, you understand the consequences of these actions. You understand how it changes the dynamics of the relationship, how it can create hate and animosity and tension. And honestly, I, I'm not about it. So if it were me, and more than likely, I'm sure that this scenario is going to happen here soon. Mark my words. I just got this feeling, just got this gut feeling. I can't do it unless I say, hey, look, here, here's here's a thousand dollars. Here's here's two thousand dollars. Here's here's three grand for whatever it is you may need uh, deposit on a new place, uh, down payment on a new vehicle, whatever it is. Pay your phone, cell phone bill, uh, buy some groceries, whatever it is. I don't care. I have to be 100 percent OK with giving that money away, never getting it back again so that I don't damage the relationship. I don't uh, create tension. I don't anger myself seeing whomever it is that I, I, I loaned money to make purchases outside of paying me back first that probably aren't necessary, uh, I can't do that. So basically at the end of the day, it comes down to if I'm gonna help, I have to, I have to help in a way that I know is gonna be most beneficial and just give it away. Otherwise, I can't help you at all. The best help I could give you is to point you in the right direction on how to make more money, how to generate more income so that you can get it for yourself. You don't have any burden. You don't have any debt. You don't ruin any relationship. And honestly, you talk about lead a horse to water, you know, uh, teach, teach a man how to fish. I, you learn how to fish, you're going you're gonna to be able to feed your family forever, okay? So it's better to learn how than to, than to beg and ask for it. So, you know, and that's part of what we talk about all the time in the group. If you guys are in the group, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, click the link in the description. But at the end of the day, if you 
aren't in that position right now where you think you are going to need some financial assistance or you are in that group where you think pretty soon here you're going to need some financial assistance or you already need financial assistance, it is best for you to learn how to get out of that situation on your own, increase your income, make more money so that you can be your own bank. You can solve your own problems and you don't have to rely on friends or family to help you out, possibly ruin a relationship, you know, damage a relationship, uh, you know, break up, break up families because of money and, uh, and also be able to continuously do this uh, after the fact so that, you know, you're making more. You're not in the hole. You're not in debt trying to re repay you know, just to be back in the same position uh, of being underwater, living paycheck to paycheck, uh, being broke, being impoverished, below poverty line. You, we need to solve that problem. You need to be the person in the position capable of helping others and you making that decision on whether or not you want to lend money, let them borrow money or just give it to them so that you can help them. But even then, at that point in time, after you've learned how to do it, after you've executed, after you've created your own small business, your own side hustle, your own passive income streams, you'll realize at that point, the best help that you could give them would be to teach them how to fish.